there are only six seats in the main squad, and there are much more applicants. Every year the level of competition in Russian women's single skating is only increasing. One generation does not have time to fully replace another, and as a result we have a huge overabundance of talents. It would seem that a lot is not a little, but the state cannot equally finance all strong athletes. For the figure, the Ministry of Sports of the Russian Federation allocates six places in the main squad and three in reserve. Only the foundation lives entirely on budget funds, so the battle for a place in the national team is worse than the Olympic team's bid. This year, when there are practically no financially profitable international starts, the issue is even more acute. The last Olympic cycle began with an attempt to stay at the highest level performed by Alina Zajitova, Evgenia Medvedeva and other athletes of their generation. A year after that, Alyona Kosternaya, Alexandra Trusova and Anna Cherbakova became adults. They displaced Zajitova and Medvedeva from the leading positions, but the former champions still appeared in the overall composition of the national team. A year ago, Kamila Voliva, Daria Yusacheva and Maya Kramik came to fight with Trusova and Shcherbakova from the juniors. There is clearly no time for Alina and Evgenia, there was already not enough place for Kosternaya in the base she spent the 2021-22 season in reserve. Before the 2022-23 season, Adelia Petrosyan, Sofia Samadolkina and Sofia Muravyeva will become adults. And now there are nine top-level skaters for six vacant places, we have not yet mentioned Elizaveta Tiktamasheva, who is not going to end her career, the Russian Figure Skating Federation has not been in such a difficult situation yet, there will definitely not be enough space for everyone next year, even taking into account the reserve. The lists of the national team are not exactly formed by the federation. This is the patrimony of the Ministry of Sports, and it is directly related to budget financing. Only the basis is fully on state support, reservists are partially helped, they pay about half of the expenses and part of the salary. And last year it was difficult not to offend anyone, but now there is not enough room for everyone, even taking into account the reserve. Usually the lineups are announced in mid-late May, but June has already arrived, and there is no news. Can they really not decide? I can't say the exact dates or dates, it depends on the Ministry of Sports, said the President of the Federation Gorshkov. As soon as the composition is known, it will immediately appear on the website. The President of the Federation Gorshkov said that the main criterion is the same as before, the Russian Championship. But earlier, the results of the Adult and Junior World Championships were also taken into account. This year, Russians were not allowed to enter tournaments, and officials will have to take this fact into account when making decisions. You understand the conditions in which we are now, the head of the Figure Skating Federation added. There was no World Championship, no Junior World Championship. So these criteria will not be taken into account, and adjustments are possible in this regard. I won't tell you exactly what will change in the absence of these tournaments, but I think that in the very near future everything will become clear, and the results will appear on the website. We must wait. Russia has already had the experience of choosing collections without taking into account major starts, this is the last in the season before last, when either Europe or Mir was cancelled. The juniors in the 2020-21 season did not have a single international start at all, Nevertheless, the whole trio, Yusachiva, Kramik, and Voliva, immediately became the basis of the national team. There is a simple explanation for this, they successfully performed at the Russian Championship, getting into the top six. In theory, this year we can see a repetition of this story. After all, if you choose the composition solely based on the results of the CR, then Voliva, Shcherbakova, and Trusova, as well as Petrosyan, Samadolkina, and Muravyeva should be at the core. It's simple, the girls took places at the national championship in St. Petersburg from exactly the 4th to the 6th. Elizaveta Tiktamasheva is only the 7th after them, the lame ones are the 8th, and Kosternaya and Yusacheva were not at all in the Czech Republic. Will they all be left out of funding in favor of competitors who have just come to adult sports? Kosternayev and Yusachiva risk being left without finances for the next season only it is hard to believe that the federation will act strictly according to the sports principle of the results of the Russian championship. 
at least the interlocutors of Sport Express on condition of anonymity claim that the Ministry of Sports is waiting for ready-made lists from Gorshkov and Alexander Kogan. For their part, they have no preferences and do not require formal compliance with all criteria. According to one of the skaters of the national team, according to her information, the basis will definitely be the Olympians. These are Voliva, Shcherbakova, and Trusova, their places are not in doubt. If Tiktamashiva is really planning to continue performing at the age of 25, then her place is also secured, despite the unsuccessful Russian championship. With a high degree of probability, the lame ones will also be at the core. And only one vacant place will remain for 3x juniors. Most likely, Petrosyun will take it both on the sporting principle and on the unspoken status of Ateri Tutbirds as headquarters. Samadolkina and Muraviva will be offered either to get into the reserve of the adult foundation or into the basis of the junior national team anyway, in the absence of international starts, it doesn't really matter where you are formally listed. The problem will arise with Yusachiva and Kosternaya. In theory, there are not enough places, and either the Ministry of Sports will make concessions and give a tenth quota, or one of our best skaters will be left without public finances for the season. In this case, Alina is in an unenviable position, after all. Daria is under the patronage of Sambo 70, and formally her results have been more successful lately than Kosternaya's. However, there is always an option to exchange one quota in the men's national team for one for women. The federation already pulled off such a feint three years ago, why not repeat it again?